next student let's go to the app sheet home page appsheet.com we have an interface of uh, uh, google app sheet it creates an app easy it's very intuitive uh, interface straight away we can add the tables that we just created in the google drive how we can add those table initially it will pick one uh, because it was this is the whole worksheet so the app sheet will pick the first table out of that worksheet that uh, where we created two sheets so uh, uh, in create button go to the app and then pick this option start with existing data uh, here you name your uh, app uh, let's say uh, task management app and the category is planning and project management and uh, choose uh, your data from where you we should pick uh, from where uh, uh, the app sheet is asking that where i should from where i should pick you uh, from where i pick the data uh, uh, here this pane this dialog box is very important uh, 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 make sure we have a lot to learn in this uh, uh, dialog box we can pick uh, tables from app sheet uh, n built database it has n built database we can pick uh, data tables from google sheets and there are also multiple other sources from where we can pick data tables on which the the the, the app sheet is going to build an application let's see how many options are the other options are there you can see a lot of uh, options cloud databases on-premises databases google calendar or data salesforce uh, it is already there and you can uh, you can uh, uh, add another uh, one uh, here customized uh, so uh, but we are uh, uh, we uh, in for this for the purpose of this app we are uh, adding tables from google sheets so that we have the da data in our google sheet which is easily accessible and we can uh, easily perform analysis on it and it will be easily to control so let's see uh, how we can add the two tables we can create it initially it will uh, pick just the one uh, 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 a one uh, table from it and the second one we will uh, uh, we will add manually so uh, uh, let's get the tables from our worksheet in google drive i clicked on that worksheet and now it is picking the table it will pick the first table and it will generate some views some uh, default views that we will not need uh, you can see here we go the app is ready and let's customize it let's customize it you can see it builds some views on top of the table it picks but we don't need that uh, uh, user uh, uh, interface uh, so we will delete that uh, you can see that it picks just the one uh, table uh, the managers table the first table while the task table we will uh, we can add it manually and it is so intelligent engine that it gives us uh, the option that you can add that task table to your uh, task management app but before adding the second table uh, we can see the uh, let have an overview a show a, a, a brief overview of the uh, the interface uh, as i said uh, in my previous video that um, it picks the data tables from the data service provider so the data service provider here is the google sheet uh, 
uh, in Google Drive so it picks one table and now we can add the another table uh, uh, so in this way it picks the uh, table ta tables and uh, the next thing it do uh, it will do is that it will create views on top of that tables uh, and here we will form in the UX tab we will form the uh, we will create the views on the top of the table and the different actions we can add like uh, sending um, uh, notifications like sending email like uh, uh, changing the, uh, uh, the, the 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 values of different uh, 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 different uh, rows we uh, for, for 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 different uh, uh, actions uh, uh, that the app sheet will create we will come here in behavior pane uh, and an automation pane uh, it can automate uh, <coughs> certain operations uh, like sending daily email sending uh, sms uh, delete record or sms on new record so uh, here is the security we will learn about security that we need a sign in uh, 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 when we will share this app with another uh, uh, um, our, uh, employees he they, he he will require uh, to sign in so this is a general overview uh, let's come to the data data is the basic uh, um, tab here let uh, uh, create let add the another table task uh, but how we can add a uh, uh, table let's see the full process is the shortest possible uh, it's a, it's a, it's the app sheet intelligence that it gives a, a, it a, it says that add the another table too but let's see how we can add through proper channel google sheet again we go to that worksheet and here we add the next table so both the tables are now uh, added uh, and it has formed two views on the top of the first table managers table uh, it is forms two views on the top of uh, the first table so uh, let delete this view uh, we don't need it uh, here so uh, the manager views is okay we will see it we will create views uh, different views uh, as as i uh, show you uh, as i sh already i have shown you that uh, uh, how we will create the uh, the views so uh, let's see the two tables we have and how the app sheet assigned uh, data uh, types to it uh, so this is how we can add uh, tables to the app sheet uh, coming up we see data types uh, uh, we see uh, uh, how to create reference between tables which is very important uh, I can say that that is the 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 core, the crux of uh, uh, creating no code application when we build relationship between ta uh, the tables. So in coming up, we are learning that. Thank you so much.